In this video, we want to look at solving the quadratic equation x squared equals 5x plus 9. Now, there are many ways we can try to uh, solve this guy. One way is by factoring, uh, but I'll tell you right now that's not going to work. Uh, we also have completing the square, which could work, but it's not going to be very pretty. Uh, but what we want to look at here specifically is how to solve this guy using the quadratic formula. Now, if we're going to use the quadratic formula, we have to make sure that we have every term on one side and zero on the other side of the equation. So we're just going to rewrite this guy. So x squared minus 5x minus 9 is equal to 0. We have to have everything on one side of the equation so that we can clearly identify the a, b, and c uh, in our quadratic equation. So it's really not too bad for us. Your a is just the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x. In this case, that's negative 5. And c is going to be your constant term, negative 9. Now, every time that you're going to use the quadratic formula, write the formula down first before you start plugging everything into it. So here is your formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Anytime you use any formula, write it down first, and then you can plug in. So all we're doing right now is plugging in our a, b, and c values into this formula. So, the first part here is negative b. Now, b is negative 5, so we're going to plug that guy in. There's negative 5 plus or minus the square root. So, this is negative 5 squared minus 4 times a. In this case, a is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 9. And this is all over 2 times a. a, in this case, is 1. So now that we have everything plugged in, it's just a matter of uh, doing the arithmetic here, doing the algebra. So here, this is a positive 5 plus or minus the square root negative 5 squared is just going to be a positive 25. It doesn't really matter what b equals. If it's positive or negative, when you do b squared, it's always going to come back to be a positive. This is the kind of tricky part here. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Times negative 9 is a positive 36. And this is all over 2 times 1, which equals 2. And the only thing that we really have left to do here is to uh, simplify the radicand. So that's 5 plus or minus the square root. 25 plus 36 equals 61. And this is all over 2. Now, there's nothing else that we can do here. Uh, you can't simplify this radical, so it is what it is. So this will be your final answer. x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 61, all over 2. Now, if you need to write this using set notation, your set notation would look like this. 5 plus the square root of 61 over 2, and your other solution is 5 minus the square root of 61 over 2. Now, I know these answers are not very pretty, but there is one thing to notice here. That they are real numbers. Uh, the square root of 61 is real. Yeah, even though it is irrational, it, it, it is real. So these guys are two real solutions to the quadratic equation. x squared equals 5x plus 9.